Doc, you're not gonna do anything stupid, are you? Who knows? Oh god. <laughs> oh god. I didn't do my Dave's log. I didn't record my thoughts. Chapter 5. Do we push through? We got through chapter 4 so fast. Usually it takes a two hours to do a chapter, but... Should we push, just push through then? Oh god, who are we ringing now? Oh, we're meeting Kim. We're meeting Kim in Central Park. With a gun! Oh god, Terry. Why is it always nighttime where Terry is? <laughs> what is it then, David? Terry? Uh, Terry. please don't hang up. I'm not hanging up. I'm... Mm. I'm having a pretty rough time, Terry. Someone's tried to kill me. What? Really. He doesn't At the care. docks, it was, uh... Two men. Hang on. What kind of a story is this? Is this some kind of guilt trip thing? Terry? What? I'm telling you the truth. I feel... Terrible. David, listen, we, we can't carry on like this anymore. We both need some space. Yeah, I know, you're right. We're I know. not in a relationship okay. though, Kim why? Kim gets her operation, and I do some therapy. And the two of us will work the whole thing out. And then, we'll go to a ball game. You know, no. like we used to. We'll take a six no. pack each, She's and then... Let's you. just give it a while. Oh, come on, Terry. Hey, how long have we known each other? You're my best friend. You know what? Kim's coming to New York. Didn't she tell you that already? Yeah. I've thought about it, and I'll be completely open with her. Talk oh God. face to face. I'll apologize. I'll tell her I love her. Maybe just maybe we can pick things up again. What do you reckon? No. Terry? Still there? No. Yep. No. <sighs> right. Okay. You don't have to say anything. I'll I'll call you once I've spoken to Kim. Wish me luck. Till then. Oh dear. Oh dear. I hope we don't accidentally slash or purposefully shoot Kim this morning. Let's go to the park. Go to the park no, and no. see. I've got other things to do. We've got to see Kim! I was the gun the whole time. The gun was the gun we made along the way. Oh look! <laughs> this car is different every day. First it was clamped, and now somebody's taken the wheels off of it. Nice. Oh, we can't go see our best friends. You see my wife anywhere? Mr. Flynn? Good morning. Sir? Sir! Oh, goodbye. I've All right. Go. See you later. Have a good day, sir. How is he still smiling at me? How does he... How does he manage it? You should not have let me go upstairs last night. Let's go to work, so, I guess. So, how's it going? Detective. Oh, hey! I was just thinking we haven't seen you around. I was starting to get I worried. I was asleep! been here since seven. We had a couple of divers in the harbor. And, uh, what can I say? We found your wallet. Well, found that's shells, good news. too? Yeah, and that's not all. There's a couple of other things. I tried to call you several times. I but told you, you my PDA up. was I've wet. I've just been able to get the PDA working again. Okay, so listen up, Doc. I've taken another look at the thing with the mental hospital. So you mm. believe me? Now, a couple of new things have come up that I find interesting. And you will, too, I imagine. Tell mm. me. I had Jason go through the files again. Apparently, the hospital was supposed to have been shut down in the 70s. But then the plans were shelved for some kind of special program. Those are your new Testosterone findings? Program? Dr. Young already told me something like that. Whoa, hold it. So just where do you think the hospital gets its funding from? The testosterone from the company. Authority? Wrong. The budget for special medicine is funded by the defense, defense department. No way. And your friend Dr. Young is also paid out of this budget. <laughs> no way. The Young's on the Pentagon payroll as well. That's it. Mm. You're working in a military establishment, Doc. So that explains why the NSA took your file. Yep, yep. Young's been lying to me right from the beginning. He's not allowed to tell you anything, Doc. We got this stuff from a file classified confidential. Jason used a few little, uh, computer Oh, Jason. I get it. This, this has to be kept between of. us, okay? So I've been put on this case by the Pentagon as well? It sure looks that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Army doesn't get rid of guys quite as fast as it looks. Never thought I'd end up on their payroll again. These kids must be some kind of serious security interest for them, but why is that? That's what I'd like to know. What do you reckon then, Detective? Why would they choose me to do this investigation? Because I My went mad on the same program! Exactly the most exemplary I heard. You know that? Where from? Jason. Sorry, Doc, but I had to check you out. It's my job. So, who was it that attacked me yesterday? 
Somebody doesn't like what you're doing. And if the Pentagon's paying you, then it's not surprising that you may be getting involved with some real bad guys. Great. You're really reassuring. You know that, Moretti? So what should <laughs> I do now? You carry on with what you're doing, Doc. Go over to Staten Island and get on with your investigations. Act normal, but just keep mm. out of Young's way. And not a word to anybody about this, okay? I'm going back to the office. I'm going to take a closer look at just what kind of cases that hospital has been dealing with in the past few years. You yeah, look yeah. after yourself, okay? I'm ready for anything. Right, I've Good. Gone now. I'll meet you again here tonight, and we'll talk. Can't we phone? I've got a meeting with my wife this evening. Oh, this evening, do it okay. Face to face. Just have your meeting then. I'll be here from eight. I'll wait for you. Okay. Till then. Oh my God, we're gonna kill Tim. Oh my God, he disappeared. Hey. What's going on back there? Moretti is is a wizard. Let's write that down. What is going on back here? Oh my god, we're going to fall for the same fucking trick again. We're going to walk to the end of the pier and somebody's going to try and push us off. Again. That same rubber dinghy. Oh, that, that rubber dinghy could be... That was there yesterday. Can I shoot it? I gotta take a closer look. Alright, so now we'll go down here. Oh, can I go down that way? Go down that way. That way, okay. <clears throat> How do we get to it, though? Can I just jump in? No. Looks like the one cell one guy took. It is! It looks like Ray slash Jonathan's. What about this? Let's take this rope. Let's lasso it over. <sighs> okay. I mean, why would it be the one the the one that Jonathan slash Ray took when um, he was picked up by the police in it, wasn't he? I gotta take a closer look. But I have the rope now. Do I have to tie something to the rope? What about if I tie? No, I can't tie my pendulum to it. Can I take this as? Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. Connect these. So, two. ready. Ready, ready. We solved it! <laughs> Why is it so immovable? Definitely. There's a weapon in there. Oh my god. I'll tie it up first. Now I have the gun that Ray had, right? Jesus. <laughs> Squatting around. What am I doing? I've got two guns now! Yes, we're ready. That must be the boat from the guy in cell one. Yeah. The storm must have carried it over here. But the it was already must here. Have carried it over here. But it was already here. That's how he got here. Oh well. We've got two guns on us. Going into cells with um sorry, it's not the mic. With people who are not stable currently so <gasps> where's miller no what if miller's been killed what if miller's the guy who tried to kill me two guns mcgee for each of those guys who comes i can shoot each of them oh mr mcnamara this is Doctor, uh, a please. surprise a surprise what are you talking about? i work here. how do you mean after all it's not my first day here oh yes yes of course i just thought that that i overslept was. yes exactly that you overslept. Well, a person can make mistakes. So it would seem. Did you have a pleasant evening? What do you mean? That you're rested. As you can see, I'm mm -hmm. not so easy to knock over. Yo, what's taking so long? David, one moment. Oh, you've got a visitor. Is that the drugs rep? Has he forgotten mm. something? No. Listen, David, I'm afraid I have some unpleasant news. No, unpleasant. who killed themselves now? For me or for you? For you, I'm afraid. A fax arrived this morning. You've been oh. relieved of your duties. Effective immediately. Says who? The health yes. authority. Ah. Can I see the fax? It's uh, not here. Okay, then. Well, <laughs> okay, no well. Because I'm ignoring the suspension until I see the printed evidence. You're refusing? That's not how things work here, dear colleague. You're no longer entitled to the job. You don't seem to understand that you're not irreplaceable. That's not for you to decide. And neither mm. for you. I'm going to initiate the necessary proceedings now. Do what you feel is right. You're just going to attack me. Now I know what I'm up against. If he comes back, and I won't be alone, it's going to get pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, given I that I have two fucking guns. Now. 
I want to check in here first, see if Closed. the nurse is here. Oh, where is she? She's just completely disappeared, which is suspicious. Where is the proof, doctor? Look at that. If you are a real doctor. Me showing up shook him so much he left the cockpit unlocked. Hey, yeah. What are we gonna steal? Just medicine, then. Just medicine. Look, the drug cabinet is open as well. Look, the drug cabinet is open as well. Oh, all right. I guess we'll come back, maybe, and take out drugs when we need them. Okay. Let's talk to our good friend himself. Here? He's unconscious. Oh, uh, look! He's been given the drugs! The drugs have been administered. Uh-huh. That's Valley Sedernal. An extremely powerful sedative. Young must have given him that. I'll have to give him the antidote. But, like... Why just leave the frickin' syringe on the floor? That doesn't make any sense. Let's check the other patients. Free drugs! Right, we're not gonna look in two, obviously. In My three. god. God. They're all knocked out. He's trying to cover it up. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Believe it or not, you piece of shit. Still gonna burn, as they say. And Cliff, even old Cliff. He's unconscious as well. No, he's not. He's wriggling around. Don't worry. We'll save you. We'll save you all. I know exactly how to do it. This is mounting up. I can't have another death on my conscience. I've already I got someone else to kill today. So I can find out the correct antidote. Oh, well, you have it, Dave. It's right here. Alice said it all. Ten milliliters of a kinetrin will work against that. I'll take enough for all of them with me. They'll be awake again in a few hours. <laughs> How many syringes do I have? Let's go. Let's get going. Before Mrs. Fairbanks comes back. Unconscious. Jesus. Unconscious. Don't worry, Ray. We're gonna we're gonna save you. That's it then. That's it then. He's dead. These poor people, they've been through so much. We're gonna use the same... What? We only brought three syringes. One of you's gonna have to share, right? Okay. The Pentagon can't afford personal syringes, okay? Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Right then. I don't know if any of them are allergic to any of this medication. Like, this feels like a very... rough and ready He's doctrine. unconscious as well. Oh, what? oh my gosh, really? So now, we've just got to wait. For what? Okay, now I just have to wait a short while. It's a passing time puzzle. <laughs> Solved for us, thankfully. Jesus. How are you doing? Ah, you're awake again. The doctor. I know. He gave you something. All of you. I feel awful. I've injected you with an antidote. You'll feel better soon. I'm scared. I don't want to go there. Go where? What did Dr. Young say? We're being moved to another hospital. What? To which one? Did he tell you that? Neurosurgery clinic, I think. Neurosurgery? Oh no! You sure? Yeah. That's what he said. What'll they do Why with us there? Why would Neurosurgery. He tell you that? That's where they open up your head, right? That that can't be right. I can't imagine that. You must have misheard him. They're not going to operate on us, Doc, are they? I wouldn't let them do that. I'll get you out no, of here. No, what happened? Listen, Don't about son, it. the way things are looking, I'm not going to be able to get in here much longer. We've got to finish this investigation. And then, you've got to get out of here. You remember what we talked about last time? Yeah. Good. Now, relax. We're almost there. It's vital that we make it. Okay. Come on. You yeah. can do it. Concentrate. I believe. And tell me what you see. And tell what you see. Before you were in the kitchen, what happened? Who was that person shooting your doors randomly? You were playing GTA 5. Ooh. These old ass computers that they're on. What on earth are they playing? No pressure at all, but we have to solve this immediately. Else you're gonna die. Oof, it's like... Not quite screen tear, but it's a bit juddery, isn't it? 
Okay, come on. Oh no, subliminal! Subliminal testosterone is being administered. Oh my god. I've gone absolutely mad. Oh, I'm so You're angry. Lost. <laughs> you are lost! It's just like Moment of Silence. Okay. So we were shown an image. And that's it. Flashing imagery. Something happened to you guys when you were sitting at that computer. Something changed you. Yeah, it looks a bit more like a dorm, but it's got the same imagery on oh, the walls of the tank. Oh, damn it, I've got to get stuff. out of here right now. I'll be back soon. Oh, no. We don't have time to go and talk to Kim. We've got to save these people's lives. David! Look, we're gonna we're gonna quickly check in with the others before we go and read this. God, no, this isn't happening. All right. Oh, it looks like doom. <laughs> I completely misread what you said. You said a dorm. I'm in the park. Well, you're fucking early, Kim. You're two hours early. This is the bad move. This is wrong to go two hours early to the park because all I'm gonna do is kill her, and that's you know not what anyone needs right now. Here we go. Here we go. Suddenly night time. I guess, to be fair, to get from Staten Island to Central Park, it probably would take longer than like five minutes. Why is she stood out here in the fucking rain? We didn't even say which part of the park we would meet at. Oh, Jesus. Good luck, Kim. We have wanted to go to the park. We've wanted to go for so long. Our dreams finally coming true. Terry, is Kim not come? Oh no, it is Kim. Who's that other person over there? So I'm gonna try and murder us, and then Hi. Kim rescues me. Or something. You're looking good. <laughs> Don't bother. What? It's over. Come on, let me at least. No, it's too late. And who is he? I didn't want to come alone. You scare me. Oh God! I'm sorry. Goodbye. Dave scares me. He scares everyone. Dave is fucking terrifying. Come on, Terry, save us from each Terry? other. Save me what from are myself. What are you doing here? What are you talking about? It's gonna be Terry. Oh, I understand. How you worked that out, real? Nice. You are slow, Dave. Uh-oh. Jesus. Oh, fuck, it's a good job I didn't go off. I knew it. David, you're lost. David, don't. David, don't! David! Say, isn't that Mr. Flynn? Oh, my bags! Can I ask what all this is about? <laughs> what, what are my cases doing out here? You have Your my room ring! Your has been cleared, sir. On the instructions of the hotel management. You're not serious. I am sorry, sir. Oh so, God. where am I going to get a new room now? Sir, I have my instructions. Well... Can I have my ring back? But this is not the end of it. You tell your boss that, okay? Can you tell me where I'm supposed to go with this stuff now? In this weather? Shall I call you a cab? No. Thank you. <laughs> I I'll can't pay for it. As you wish. Goodbye, sir. Oh, Flynn. That's oh, really goodbye. great. And what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Drink <laughs> with Riker. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, what do we do? What do we do? There's an empty bed. <laughs> what, you want to go into Laura's bed in cell two? <laughs> you monster! <laughs> you monster. Alright, let's take our bags. Wow. <laughs> My pockets! Look what I have. I have a credit card, pendulum, a phone, cash, a map, files on five people, an alarm, a key, a torch, a divorce letter, two guns, a bottle of pills, another bottle of pills, and syringes, and three suitcases. Let me go in. We could really do with the drink. Doc, 
You leaving? No, I'm not leaving. Uh, so not what's leaving. with the luggage? I had a little uh, <laughs> problem at the hotel. Uh huh. A drink? Not now. Randall, can I leave my bags here until I find a new place? You're really worrying me. What did you do? <laughs> I don't know myself. I'm getting tired of all this, I can tell you. There are a couple of people who are really in deep shit. Maybe you better give Riker his piece back, Doc. No. Yeah, I think that's a good I idea. Need. That I need doesn't both sound them. good. What's with the bill? How the hotel can sue me, I don't care anymore. Your bill here with me. Oh. Oh. Listen, you'll uh... get your money, Randall. I gotta go now. I gotta go. So what's the plan, <laughs> Doc? You're not gonna do anything stupid, are you? Who knows? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Knock out Flynn with the sleep. That's a really good... Actually... That is a really good idea. Let's go in. What Let's am I supposed to even... do in there? What am I supposed to do in there? Wow, that's such restraint, Dave, that you've never shown on any other occasion. I guess we will just go back to work, I guess. Oh no, I can't. The ferry's not running. Where do I go? I know what I'd... I'll the call Moretti. Button. Call Moretti. Call him. Because he wanted to listen to my voice notes anyway. Come on, Moretti. Help us out here. Nobody there. I can hear it ringing. I can hear it ringing. Is he here? Huh? No. All right. Uh, let's call. Kim. <laughs> let's call Kim. Kim, babe. I'm sorry. I almost shot you earlier. Hmm. Nobody there. <laughs> you sound so surprised. So... I'll wait. Moretti will definitely be along soon. Oh, is this a... Is this a... Right, we, we may as well read the bus times then if it's a waiting puzzle. Could the phone be somewhere? I mean, you could look down on the pier. Look in here. The storm must have carried it over here. No, maybe the phone is somewhere. Maybe they've all been shoved off the end of the pier. My wife, Moretti and Terry. Together. Weird. What about the bin? Fuck, if Moretti's in here and he's dead. Okay. Ah! That... Oh, God. Oh, God. Quiet. Keep it down. Now I'm on my own. Okay, then. Let's do it. Where's Moretti gone? Which one was- I didn't even draw him on here, poor- poor babe. I've got, like, an eyelash in my eye. I'm so stressed out. Rip- I don't think rip is a sound command. Is there anything else that could be, um... That we could use to, like, salute... Um... Moretti. That won't feel <laughs> different with gloves, either. <laughs> you salute him with gloves. We can't do that. Let's go inside. Let's confront everybody. How is it just unlocked? That doesn't make any sense to me. I've got two guns. And a load of drugs. We're gonna Mr. do Mr. McNamara, I've been expecting you. You have, sure, have you? Have. Give me your keys, please. Your work here is finished. We've already discussed this. I'm keeping the keys. I'm going to go and do my work now. You're and not do. going anywhere. Step aside, Doctor. Or what? Or we're going to have a really big problem here. You're threatening me? You don't seem to understand. Your time here is up. The patients are being moved to Washington, D.C. tomorrow morning. I live morning. there. That's very Washington. convenient for me. Why haven't I been informed? I'm informing you now. That should be enough. To which clinic? That's of no importance to you. We're waiting for a special transport on. unit which is arriving this evening. I must ask you to remain here until then so that the handover passes off as smoothly you as You just possible. told me to leave! You will have the opportunity then what? to discuss your dismissal. That should be very... enlightening. There'll be a representative from the authorities? What can I say? There'll be somebody there who will be able to rule on your case. Please stay on the premises the until then. I've had the gates locked already. We'll see about that. I'll be back soon. Fuck you, Doctor. Oh, we're going outside. He left. I didn't have a choice then. He chose to leave. That wasn't my... What if I go back in here? Yeah? 
<laughs> okay, okay, he just leaves. Oh no. Okay, Doctor. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, put that gun down at once. I'm sorry, Doctor. I cannot accept what you're doing here. What you planned. Don't be ridiculous, David. You'll end up in jail. I think it's more like you are think... going to end up in jail. You're so hopelessly naive, David. You'll see soon enough who you're going to be dealing with. I hope so. I'd like you to move along to the cockpit, Doctor. You too, tomorrow. They have a telephone in and there. Slowly. Such a bad idea. What do you want to do? Shoot us? If no, you're not treat going my to patients. cooperate, that could happen. Fire away God. if you like. I've got nothing to lose. Nor do I, Doctor. Believe me. To the cockpit. Now. Sit on the chair. And if I don't? Sit down! You too, Tamara. And hands behind your backs. You're not going to get away with this, David. We'll see. Hands behind I have nothing to cuff you with. Yeah, I'll fucking drug you. And you. Oh, this is the antidote. That's I'm gonna set it all. An extremely powerful. I'm gonna therapy. fucking drug you. I'm gonna I'm gonna drug you. I'm gonna drug you. With the same syringe that you used, used on those poor children. Enjoy your bloodborne illnesses. <laughs> and you. I'm a fucking maniac. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All the other kids should be awake by now, right? Out we go. And I got the antidotes, so there's no way they're waking up. Back to work, everyone! Back to work! La la la! Ah, it's all there fine. you are at last. The doctor was here. I know. <laughs> You're enjoying this Don't so worry, much. he's not coming back. Where is he? He's. he's... sleeping. Okay. What if he wakes up again? He's gonna sleep for 24 hours, son. You doped him up? Exactly. We'll be undisturbed for quite a while. Listen, your fellow patients are still unconscious, but they'll wake up soon. We'll have another session now. And then? Then you're getting out of here immediately. Yeah, I don't sure. have any clothes. Doesn't matter. You're out of here right away. You're wearing where to? clothes. Doesn't matter where. Just away from here. But we'll discuss that in a minute. Now, let's get on with the session. Oh you remember meeting up in the computer room, yes? Yeah. Think back to the time just before. I must know where you guys were and exactly what you were doing. What was Why would the Pentagon the employ me if they didn't want me to find what out what was going on? Why were you there? It doesn't make any sense. And why was it you five? I can't do it anymore, Doc. Oh, I'm come scared. on, Ray. I have to know. Please. Try. All right. Okay. There. There's this kitchen again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Dear friends, thank you for coming. You know why you're here. Cyclops Industries has selected you to take Cyclops. part in their current project, which is a world's first. It was critical for us only to accept the brightest and most talented people, so you can be proud of yourselves. Being able to take part in the tests in our revolutionary program is an honor offered only to a very few people. No expense has been spared in making the setting for this test. An unusual, themed, and completely shielded environment. For a period of one week, you will remain completely undisturbed here in Fort Tilden. It's up to you when, how often, and for how long you test Goliath. Our only condition is that you follow the test through so to its long. conclusion. Sufficient provisions have been supplied as well as beverages and all necessary equipment. You know that cell phones and other communication devices are forbidden. For your own security, the entire complex has CCTV surveillance. We will be on hand should any emergency arise. We so shot each other, no was that not an emergency? That. So, that's everything. Any questions? Have you done a risk assessment? None. Very good. Oh my god. Then may I thank you all. Goliath is ready. <laughs> he just punched Ray on his way out. Good luck. Jesus. Yeah, not at all an evil corporation or anything. Maybe they hoped I'd fail. It's a test. Uh, they wouldn't fail. A test for some software in Fort Tilden. That's on the, the peninsula in the bay, right across from Manhattan. Yeah, right. That's where we were. And this man. What's the name of his company? I Cyclops Industries. can't remember anymore. He literally just uh, told us. But this program that you board. were all using, that seems familiar to me. 
feel like Come on, I let's finish. It before. You guys have to get out of here. I don't know mm. if I can. You've got to. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. There's no way you guys okay. can stay here. I'm going to let you go. Make sure that you make it through. The best thing for you is to split up and hide for a few days. What you gonna do? I'm going across to Fort Tilton. Don't do it, Doctor. They'll kill you. Don't worry about me. Take care, guys. Where are we gonna meet you? There's a bar on Rivington Street. It's <laughs> We're gonna meet at the Nighthawk. Let's hawk. meet up there in a few days. Tell the bartender that the doc sent you. So keep going. Good luck. What? But they were, we're already on an island and the ferry's not running. Oh, okay. I just, I just set them free into New York. This is such a terrible idea. What am I doing? I'm getting the ferry. No. I'm going to I've Tilden. I've got to get over to Fort Tilden somehow and oh, fast. Oh, no. I've got a row in that dinghy. Oh, God. Here we go. I can't even... Well, no. We dispelled them if I can swim very well. Did I die? Did I fall out the ship? You fell out the ship, you idiot! take you to get there. You don't even know where it is. Oh, okay. Apparently I do. God. Whoa. Whoa. That was close. Yeah, I've lost all my stuff. Madness. PDA's gone too with all my recordings. Oh, oh. bummer. Fuck, all my the proof. Gone. The fucking proof is gone and you didn't cloud save any of it. No one's gonna fucking believe me now. And I'm breaking into a military property. This looks familiar to me. The kids from Actually, cells one and three both familiar to you. It's a fence. And there's a drum as well, but how do I get over there now? From this side? I don't know. You're the freaking doctor. Can I use the dinghy? Can I, like, wrap the dinghy over the barbed wire? The rubber dinghy. No? Alright. I thought that would be in some way useful. The rubber dinghy. No. Oh, a stone! Yeah. Big old stone. I'm just gonna throw it at the fence. This doesn't feel. Oh no! I took a t I took a tiny one. All right. What if I burst the dinghy with the stone? No, he doesn't like that. I don't know why I couldn't use this on the rubber dinghy. That felt to me like a good idea. Anything else to click on? <laughs> Please click on something else. He says. Little, little sweeping with the mouse. You tell me if you see anything. There's a dinghy. Another stone. We take another stone. A piece of shale. Looks pretty sharp. No, no, we can't take another stone. Maybe it's one of those. Oh, we're gonna set it on fire! But oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna try and freaking set it on fire. A piece of... Oh no, we're breaking a... We're breaking the rock into a different shaped rock. Okay, we're... there's a few real nice sharp pieces. Okay, fine. We have some sharp pieces. So it was my idea, we just needed a different type of... Rock. A rubber dinghy. Oh, I have a rubber strip A rubber ready. dinghy. A rubber dinghy. Fine. We'll use our strip on the fence. Great, and now we're going to climb over. Why am I breaking in here? There's like nothing fucking here. Why am I doing this? Oh, except the crowbar. I'd forgotten about the crowbar. Minty, do you remember the crowbar? I can sure use that. Was that a long time ago. Especially since I don't have any other weapon. Yeah, exactly. Oh shit! How are we gonna get past the, the fan? fan? Still bent. Just like oh. told me. Okay. Oh god, I wouldn't trust it though. I thought we shot that brick out. I'm pretty sure we shot every brick we came across. Pretty obtuse to have to break the rock. <laughs> All of these puzzles are obtuse, you're right. Yeah, guy three, they both went through the vent and and one of them broke it and one of them didn't and I didn't really understand why one of them did and one of them didn't and all this nonsense. Let's go in here, I don't remember what's in here. This is the radio room. That's a code lock. One of the five mentioned it. It looks new, as though it's only oh. recently been installed. I need to open it somehow. 
But we have a code. We have 962. Is that not it? Oh. I don't feel like we know what this is yet. I feel like we're going to have to go a different way. Can't go that way. Go this way. Oh dear. This is going to be locked, isn't it? It's unlocked. Oh, it's not. Look at that. That looks like the tower that the guy in cell 5 was in. How did I never work out their names? No, don't go down there, Dave! David. Here we go. And there's the fuel dump, too. Oh, yes. Yep. That's, and that's got the to be the gate he gate blew open. The cliff blew up. It's been welded up again. Mm. Somebody must have been here. Well, yeah, it's being monitored like 20 freaking four hours a day is what they told us. Let's go find ourselves more guns, maybe. That will solve... I gotta get a weapon from somewhere. <laughs> Dave, we we are psychically linked. Our trauma has brought us together. Oh, we can't actually go in here. Fine, we're we'll going in the main square. Oh my god, we're really here. We're really here. Oh, look, it's me. Damn it, hey. somebody's welded the door shut. What? Damn. Why would they do that? Somebody's welded the door shut. Uh, the watchtower. I don't think going That's to the watchtower watch is really good. I'm not the going to get up there. There's no ladder. Here. Laura. Rest in peace. Could you please learn her name, Dave? Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Look, they've... Spot. I swear it didn't have that cross on it before. Can I go in here or do anything? No. So tiny. Look how tiny I am. <laughs> Why am I a little hobbit? <laughs> I'm so much smaller than when Laura was here. <laughs> ah, the weapon store. Yes. Yes. I don't have the key, though. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's completely unlocked. Fine. But Cliff took all the guns. Well, at least we know this puzzle. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> one ammo clip. One? David. You'll probably need more than one. Oh. Alright. Which of these can we interact with? Oh. Alright, I guess we're going to have to go and use our crowbar on those welded doors. And I guess the guns are probably still going to be in the... In, like, the dormitory rooms. From where the kids left them behind. Okay, let's use our crowbar on this door then. Oh. Can't Doesn't do want anything. To. I've gotta find another route. Why can I not, like, use my crowbar on anything? The guns were just in here before. It was really easy. It was so easy, I only had to be told once by you how to do it. Huh. Number three with the gun in the sewer to stop fan. Yes. All of this is true. Alright. I don't think the guns are in here. Unless the password is just Goliath. We could try that. Three, four, five, six, seven. Was it a seven, seven code? Seven code password? Oh, and it's going to be a, one of those text things, so we're going to have to like double press. This is so 2007. Open. Oh my god, this is so 2007. I need a weapon. Ah, <laughs> Dave, Dave. There's the gun. I remember now. He used the gun. <laughs> he used the gun. The gun. He used the gun. I'd forgotten. Something. That's what you're talking about, Minty. I was so confused. I was like, "What are you talking about?" He used the gun to stop the fan. The I've got to get it out of there somehow. Cliff was so fucking stupid that he used the gun. That gun's gonna be bent to shit. Oh my god. I thought you were talking about the guy who shot the brick out with the gun to do the fan. I thought you were talking about that instance of the gun and the fan. I'd forgotten there were other instances of this gun and this fan. I'm sorry for just being completely behind on that one.
Yeah, we got there. What's that? That looks like a surveillance monitoring room. Well, we know there the whole no place is CCTVs. This in the recollections. These machines yes, there are was. modern. Somebody was here not so long ago. But what oh, the gosh. hell was this whole installation for? David, you are so slow. We know what it was for. They were doing some testosterone super soldiers. Just like you. My god. There's hundreds of video cassettes here. Obviously, video they cassettes. must have recorded everything that went on here in these buildings. Come on. Could be the key to the kids' missing recollections. I've got to find out what happened to them all while they were here. They told me about the night when they were no. shooting in the building. And about the night where they sat at the computers. They must have recorded all of that. Peter Wright would have figured it out by now. You're right, Smokey. Peter would have figured it out. Brent would have figured it out. Melanie would have figured it out. Everyone. Fucking idiot Dave. It is fucking power complex. Oh my god, look at this menu! <sighs> How many variables are this? How many variables? Corridor, land room, kitchen, subject five, four, three, two, one. That's eight variables. Six variables. Three variables. That's a lot of combinations. All right. We'll start with patient one on day one. There are six mm, hours. Nothing unusual. I need to look around some more. Yeah, good idea. We don't want to be doing any of that. Oh my god. A server computer behind armored glass. The cables leading up through the ceiling. Looks like it might be networked to another computer. Networked? Tough armored glass. But there are some ventilation slots. We'll just shoot it. Wasn't the shooting in the corridor? Oh, you want to look at that? Oh, we can look at that. Yeah, so what was that? Hundreds of video cassettes. Clearly labeled. They told me was... about the night when they were shooting in the building. Yes. And about the night where they sat at the computers. They must have okay, recorded so when, all of that. When would this have been? The shooting in the building. It was the corridor. It was... The fourth day, but we don't know the time. Ah, uh, nothing. Ah, uh, nothing. Ah, uh, nothing. You're probably not meant to do it like this. Okay, well there we go, we did it. <laughs> Here we go. This is literally the thing we looked at earlier today. I'm sick of looking at that. Why did you Somebody's turn Somebody's trying to kill her, but who? Why did you even look at that? Okay, and then we need to look at the the LAN room. Must have been the day bef the first day, surely. Uh, nothing. Maybe we should look at the other side of this room. Uh, oh, nothing. Oh. Can I look at the other side of this room? Here we go. Here we go. Let's look at this. The ventilation shaft seems to lead upwards to the ground floor of the building. Okay. Can I look at any of this information? No. To the ground floor of the building. Shoot it off! No. I could use something to get it open. Well, I asked you to shoot it, and you wouldn't. The radio room! Oh, we all remember the radio room, right? That has to be the door to the radio was. room the guy in cell 3 told me about. Yeah, you're right. I don't know where upstairs there that would be a computer. That has to be computer. the door to the radio room the guy in cell 3 told me about. Yeah, but you could try and open it, couldn't you, Dave? We need another tape. No, I think he nothing. I think he specifically wants the time they were in the LAN room. Which is probably the day before that. Let's try no, the day before. Nothing. I can't no, believe Moretti's nothing. dead. There we go. Oh my god. Why would their eyes do that? It's not possible for their eyes to do that. Where did their pupils go?
Why is that one That's clip it. being repeated? The uh, sat in a war uh, simulator. The program must have had an influence on their minds. Strange. It reminds me. It reminds me of the of exactly the thing in the army. It looked very similar. David, you're David. Okay. Anything else? I can prove what's been going on here with these two cassettes. There's just can one you? more thing to do. Don't get them wet. There's one more thing to do. Shoot the fucking computer. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> no? What happened to my crowbar? I can't even go this way anymore. I can't go back. There's no going back from this, Dave. I need something to open that vent with. Can't go back. I can't go back. Okay, suggestions. How are we going to get this grill open? Surely there was nothing else in here. Miss something. Me? Miss something? It won't let me shoot the computer. It won't let me shoot the vent. Unless I have to go and shoot the rope down. I'm willing to try it. No. <laughs> okay, I'm glad it's not that. Because that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Okay, right. I am going to look it up. Oh, hang on. What? 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 Use a crowbar on the shelf. Pick up the gun. Go forward to the hall. Go through the barred door. Main square to the weapons area. Grab the ammunition in the box. Go to the watchtower. Climb up. Climb up. Pick up the knife! He was fucking... He was so tiny and yet could still block the view to the knife. Alright, here we go. Come on, Dave. Well, We're gonna save the day now. Worked for a guy in cell 5, so it ought to work for me. There yeah. we have it. There Open. we have it. Now we just go up Let's there. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, God. You're gonna shimmy your way up there. <sighs> Made it. Oh, this was Here the locked is. room we couldn't Blab go in room. in the middle. This is where the five of them yes. were. Yes, yes, I do remember this locked room now. Look at these computers. Oh my god, I could a computer like this. You're all too young to remember computers like this. Oh, a box. Let's look at this. That's coming with me. Tape. I think I just might be able to use it. Everyone needs duct tape. Can we look inside these boxes, though? There might be sick confidential files that need unearthing. You're not older than me, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, you, well, maybe you are. I don't think you look wrecked. older than me. What's Rex? I'm sorry, I really wasn't paying attention. What did he say? What are we even doing in here? Like, why have we come in here? Go and warp this computer. How hot would you be running your computer to get it melting like this? You can examine this. Hard if I drive. can just find some proof of what they were doing here. Okay. No one's gonna fucking believe you. Are you kidding me? No one. You're mad. We have much Somebody's evidence. Somebody's done a real good job here. That me? What are you saying? Can we just go downstairs? So you can complain at me. Yeah, we can. So now, what do you have no to say about No doubt that this? this computer controlled the program. I have to destroy it. I've got enough evidence. I've got the videos and the hard drive. Destroying evidence is bad. It's a bad idea, Dave. We need this computer. We need this computer to be found by somebody so that they believe us. We need it specifically in this place. If we destroy it, it's not like the moment of silence when it's a um, freaking evil AI that needs destroying. There's no reason to destroy this. But there are some ventilation slots. Well, we'll just tape it over, right? Let's and then it'll deal with this. Wow, you've done such a freaking bad job Tough of that. Armored glass. But there are some ventilation Stab slots. Stab it in the gut. Am I disturbing you? Oh. Mr. McNamara. Hello. How nice to see you again. Even Mr. if McMain. under somewhat deplorable circumstances. What are you doing here? Oh, no. Oh, you're asking me. Shouldn't that be the other way around? I have to admit I'm impressed. You are both persistent and resilient. I never would have thought impressed. you would make it here. The water off the dock is 50 feet deep. For a poor swimmer with cuffed hands, that's usually deep enough. Who are wow. you? 
Not Mr. Clark from Dwight Chemicals, anyway. My name is Warren Zane. I am the project leader for Cyclops Industries. As you can see, we're working here on a few tests for a little piece of software. A further development of the simulators that you may well remember yourself. I do. You're training young people to kill, aren't you? Influencing You're them with just like the army. Methods. Exactly right, David. You have an excellent grasp of things. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Or you would never have come here. Who comes of their own free will to their own funeral? You work for the Pentagon. Yes, indeed. As I told you, one of the largest employers in the country. And the Pentagon is testing the effectiveness of this manipulation software. Not only that, we're also testing whether or not we can erase the memories of our test subjects. Dr. Young's chemical method has helped us immensely. However, as we know now, thanks to your work, we must improve it further. Still. Dude, why did you employ me? We want killers who can also withstand interrogation. In today's unconventional wars, memories are a hindrance. He who remembers nothing tells nothing and regrets nothing. Isn't this homecoming? So, <laughs> your homecoming methods have failed. This. My investigations in Staten Island are proof. This is literally uh, the David, same thing. I believe you really are quite movingly naive. Your results are very interesting to us. Your work is going to help us improve Goliath. The next version will resist any psychiatrist. You can count on that. Why do you think we entrusted these cases to you in the first place? So I'm Because I'm really good? But of course, you were already a part of the Forerunner experiments. Have you never asked yourself where your aggressive outburst came from? Of course you have. Yeah, you I wake mean, up crying every simulator. morning. Precisely. Sorry, he zooms. Life. We couldn't have known that our experiment would have caused such an unfortunate side effect. However, we find ourselves at war. And as you well know, in war, there are casualties. Which brings oh, us to... Poor Laura! ...the unfortunate part of our oh, conversation. Oh god, he's gonna try and shoot really me. Very sorry. I've got a gun now. Right, I need it's to be quick about this. I need to be quick about it. I don't want to die. Dave, get your gun out, Dave. He looks so sad. Use the distraction, Dave! He's saying I can dodge bullets? He's doing gun foo! <laughs> How do I know these moves? I'm a freaking psychiatrist! Pull the trigger. You're gonna disappoint me if you don't. You're a killer, Dave. You can't do anything else. Go on, do it! No, I'm like not! With your wife, Dave. Get it off your chest! No! Oh my god. You see, you wanted to do it. David. Oh, he's got Your another one! Dave. Fuck! <laughs> Thanks for the help. Who fucking shot him? My wife? Kim? Riker. Ray! I'm still here. My eyes see. My ears hear. My head thinks. Imagine if it had been Flynn. The other. <laughs> Flintarian Kim. He's dead. Oh no. The world turns. When it clicks. Almost silently. When it gets dark. You don't see. The phone's just clicked. Who's flipped the switch? Time stops. Just a moment. The world keeps turning. With us. Without us. Cliff Mandrake. Broker. Cliff. Laura Fawcett. Art student. Poor Laura. Victoria Montgomery. Great model. Jonathan Bate. Student. Ray Thornton, warehouse worker. Oh, it was Jonathan that saved us. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, David Jonathan. McNamara, psychiatrist. Psychotic. Switched. Overclocked. Darkened. Okay. I'm still here. My God, eyes what are you gonna, see. What are you going to do now? I'm alone. 
You know, born in an ultimatum it. Oh, who's he talking to? Is that me and Kim? Oh, hey Jonathan. Thank you for saving my life. We're ascending to heaven! Look at us! The storm We're glowing! Is over. Coming. Kim? Victoria? Lynn? That's part of the alien conspiracy. <laughs> this is Goliath speaking. I am Goliath. I'm a I'm OG Goliath. Old Goliath, that's what OG stands for. Why Tobias? Martin! No! No! This has to be a dream. This can't be real. Why would Kim come back to me? I attacked her. I yelled at her. I was controlling to her. I fucking threw a propane tank at her which blinded her. Tobias Martin, why has Kim come back to Dave? That is the worst ending. I'm so angry at them. Usually I finish a game and I'm like, thank you. What what a crazy, beautiful experience. And I am. I am like that. But also at the end of all of your games, I'm like, what the fuck? Why are your female characters written like this? Maybe it's all in his head. The whole Kim storyline has been in his head this whole time. Well, we solved it. The conspiracy, the board... I'm not sure it helped. 962 never came up, really, but... Cool, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Is there a post credit secret? Secrets? 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 Secret? Sequence? House of Tales. Look at that glorious logo. Is that Tobias looking down on the world? His world form. <laughs> God, I've got a chest cramps. <laughs> It's so stressful. <laughs> oh, Dave will return in seven. Yeah, it's just back to the beginning. There is, um. Oh my god, it really is back to the beginning. Please, let's leave. Please, let's leave. Please let me leave. Oh my god, please let me leave.